Hello, so I actually just took off, I was wearing the Jones New York, uh, or sorry, Jones Road um, flush on my cheeks and I just took it off. I didn't really love the look, so I decided I'm going to put on something that makes me extra happy, which is the MAC uh, Glow Play Blush, which is kind of hard to say, uh, in Rosie Does It. And I figured like this is kind of such a strangely bright looking blush that I would put this on on camera so you guys can see how a color like this that seems shocking or like really bright for someone that is super fair uh, to wear can be put on really nicely and or put on really easily and not be kind of overdone. Because if you want an intense blush look, you can make like any blush look super intense, right? But for me, it's like wearing this color um, gives a lot of brightness to my eyes and it's just so pretty. And I personally am always looking for these kind of tones of blushes. So what I have for a blush brush for this is the Cheek Highlighter Brush from Makeup Geek. I don't know if you can still get these, but this is like a dual fiber and it is very like sort of dispersed in its placement of the brush bristles and I'm gonna use a really small amount and we'll build up if needed but I'm just gonna go into the product very lightly get a super small amount of this on the brush and this is that interesting sort of texture right that isn't a normal powder that isn't a cream it's sort of a mix between the two and I personally really like this formula I want to get more shades from this but I'm not sure where to go with it I need to like because of COVID so I found this during COVID and um kind of in the problem of not being able to actually try on blushes right now like in store and I haven't really been going to many stores with makeup shopping um I would need to really go to a MAC store and like look at these colors to see which one would also be nice because they have a lot of really neutral shades and one of them might be great for me but um I'm just not really sure where to go with the other colors so I've got a little bit you can probably see a little bit on there and I'm gonna go in and I'm really gonna like concentrate this Sort of the top of my cheek and go back and this is that kind of shade so I don't know if it's picking it up on camera but it's already giving such a nice brightness and I'm always matching these to my eyes to my lips to see if it's looking nice and bright and that was such a light layer and honestly like from a day-to-day -day perspective like that is where I could end up with this and just be so happy it just gives such a soft brightness but I'm gonna go to the other side and then we'll add a little bit more so that you can see more color because on the camera I think you don't necessarily see as much so just a little itty bitty bit on there my like motto is if something works well for you color wise like if it's good for your eyes or good for your lips you can wear it right like you just wear it lightly <laughs> so that's what I do so that's like a super super light wash of this super intensely vivid blush shade but you can see I mean I hope that you can see in the camera that even just just like that it just gives a little bit of brightness so pretty for an everyday like that could work but let's build it up a little because I'm on camera and you guys might want to see the color a little bit more vividly so I'm gonna add a little bit more but this uh, brush specifically or like any brush like this right this is like a flat top dual fiber it's dispersed this is a good option for if you're trying to lightly put on a dark color You can definitely see a little bit more there. It's such a flattering shade. See, they say it's like rosy does it. I think this is definitely more of a plum to me. I mean, it's got that magenta-y shape to it with, or shade to it with plum on the back end. You can see it there. That's a lot more bright for me. And I do think even though this is more plum side, I think it's believable that I would have this kind of tone in my skin. Or at least if it's not believable, it looks good next to my eye color. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add, so that's like a second layer. You can definitely see more of that. And this these blend really well. And especially with this kind of, I mean, I think you can use your fingers with these, but I just like this brush with it. It just looks so pretty. There's like a soft sheen to it. It's so nice. I'm going to add a little bit more and then we'll stop. Uh, just to give you a touch more of the color. Alright, so you can see. It's super pretty. Alright, thanks for watching.